Hey folks, welcome to Tutorial MBT. In today's section, I would like to share with you guys on how to plot a PCA graph using Kanoko. PCA graph in Kanoko is quite tricky, but uh, the only thing I will suggest you guys to know is about the first step. The first step is to arrange your data. What kind of display are you putting when you are arranging your data? So that is the most important step that you need to do. And how to prepare your Excel sheet. Remember, if you are using only species, fine. If you are using both species and the environmental variable that's fine but how to arrange the data so below this video in the description uh box guys you'll find a link to a video showing on how to arrange your data now since uh this demo is about putting a principal correspondent analysis graph so guys let's start so the first thing is to pull up your data your data in excel sheet and then you need to pick up that so the format that i've prepared my data is an excel sheet there's different format that you can collect with the data but in my case i put my data into excel sheets so i'll go to import the project and then excel within the excel i will go to to this table that open up it's called uh, import from excel files i will go to add files and those files are very um within my excel book so i've put those to sheet there now go next these are the two sheets and this sheet ought, uh, contain the two type of environmental data the species and the environmental data so i will take the species and the environmental data because i want to explore both data but in my case let um go first with both then i can do another video with a single sheet then that was it specify sheet here then uh, i go next here i need to specify the table of the species of species next next environmental variable highlight next because if you don't select you won't get any access to the next step so you need to select those sheet for you to proceed so this is the sheet for the environmental variable with six variables we have temperature moisture humidity wind organic matter and the soil ph this is the introductory analysis so this one gave you choices we have to select one of the choices for us to run the analysis in my case as i'm running a pc i'm gonna leave it as default as it is i'm not changing anything i'm just gonna accept there we go as you can see i'm constrained we have two possibility on linear and in model so in my case i'm going with the pc so i will shift from unimodal to linear then i'll go next i'm not changing any of the condition i'm gonna leave the, the step is there so next finish so here the canoco advisor graph wizard ask me whether do i need to change or not so i'm not changing anything i'll leave it as it is the same as here Guys, you can change if you want to, but make sure that first you master the program before you start changing. Next, finish. If 
you can look at busy processing the data behind the scene now guys a very uh, important project log is here you need really to make sure that everything is blue if there's a red color it means there's a problem so recheck your data and continue as you may see we have our data tables that explain the type of analysis that you are doing and the variable that you are running in so this is the uh, summary table in this summary table we do have the number of the plot in my case i have five sites and within each site i've got the number of plot within it within each site are 10 so 10 times 5 is 50. now on the response vars it means the response variable there are 62 species so these are the species that i'm running the analysis with on the supplementary table of variables i had six environmental variable remember i showed you when i was specifying the data such as temperature moisture humidity organic matter ph and wind so those are the environmental data that i have so here we have a pca then we have the statistic table so on this table we do have different axes and these axes represent the graph that you're going to see just now 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 here is the value i mean the eigenvalue that stands for each uh, axis and the explained variation or the cumulative variable so in the PCL as well so now here i'll make a video where i will give you guys details in terms of the axis but let's first go to the plot since the purpose of this demo was to you know draw or plot a pca graph so we're gonna go to the first graph and see how our graph looks like there we go so this is the pca graph as you can see now this is the axis the first axis that that i've showed you here so this this axis is this one this is the second the third and the fourth one so you read it this way you don't go like this you read it from here down left up and finish so if you want to describe this i'll describe it now there will be a video that guys i'll show you on how to edit this kind of graph how to make it pretty for publication how to make it good for your dissertation or your assignment now let's see how the second graph looks like so there we go we have a good uh separation of the species and the environmental variables you can see there's this grouping far from the rest of the group and this they're quite related to this group so yeah so that's it for today and um i would like to thank you guys for your time and if it's your first time guys please subscribe to my channel and if it is your first time again do not forget to hit that notification bell so that next time when i upload any video that you'll be notified for our activities maybe for another exciting video thank you guys and i really appreciate your time cheers guys